Hey everybody, this is Lovely Wise, and today we are going to be talking about Mobile Suit Gundam episode 20. Now, those last few episodes that I posted, 18 and I guess 19, was actually ones I had already recorded a long time ago and apparently had never have gotten to actually, you know, uploading them, so... Well, they finally actually make it to Earth, which is actually about damn time. And what was really kind of funny is the kids, of course, complaining also about this uh, salt water. You really would have figured by this point, I understand these guys are more or less, most of them, you know, slaves and whatever else. But you would have figured they would have created, artificially at least, a, some sort of uh, salt water sea or, or something on Mars. All right, well, let's also, let's jump down to the whole Gallahorn thing, man. They're really, really selling this whole thing of human superiority. You know, basically, you cannot be altered at all They're really afraid of technology in my opinion because they're of course worried about people using that technology against them like they did before in the calamity wars but i'm very curious why the hell didn't they embrace that technology why didn't they use that in their own military you know why would you be afraid of it at that point you know someone else is going to use it anyways i know you could probably maybe stop it by using propaganda like they're doing now but why not just go ahead and implement this into your armies and actually make them even better? You can, at that point, you already have all the resources anyways. You already have the biggest army out of everybody. So why not just go and implement that? And that would basically would, you know, make a whole stamp of your uh, superiority at that point. Because that's when that captain, when he was even, people were thinking about doing augmenting on the guy. He was just flipping out, going crazy. And well, he's been brainwashed. I mean, a lot of these people you notice in this show is brainwashed. You know, it doesn't matter which side they're on. It really seems that the propaganda machine of this reality is just working overtime and i honestly have to think the biggest part of this entire episode is when the newer player came in i don't know he really wasn't a new player because he's been there you know pulling his stupid little bitty uh shadow puppet strings from the from the behind you figure it'd have to be because this guy's very kind of two-faced that uh tanosuke Tanaska, whatever, however you pronounce his name, I, I'm going to have to get used to them. He's a very backhanded kind of a person, so I know he really wants uh, Tekken to actually take him to the summit, I guess, to actually try to uh, petition for him to actually have power again, but do we really want him to have power again? We really, and seriously, honestly don't know why he was kicked out in the first place. We know that he had no longer has power, and he's been kicked out, but and he is basically sitting on some island out there being you know, an outcast, but we really seriously don't know why. And what was really curious is that uh, nobody at this point really has asked that question. I know I, you'd have to think they'd be thinking about it, but nobody's really asking that question. What is this guy actually has done that has made him be kicked out in the first place? So I think he at this point he's just playing techno. Everybody's doing that, and you know you see that from the very first episode of this series that everybody is just playing them, you know, back and forth and basically making them like into little puppets. But honestly, if that was me, that would be my very first question. Is exactly why did you lose power in the first place and uh, nobody's asking so we're gonna see kind of what happens i really hope it doesn't kick them in the ass or bite them in the ass i should say now honestly at this point uh, of course biscuit wants to leave and i'm i don't know he loses his brother of course uh he, if the brother kills himself whatever else because he's so distraught that he you know caused all this destruction in the first place but of course all of that all those people dying everything that happened has happened for the good i mean everything is actually getting better in the space stations and stuff like that but um we is Biscuit really going to be leaving? I don't honestly know. I mean, because he's kind of one of those minor, major, minor type characters that kind of needs him there to actually kind of put everybody else, you know, pull them down and make them more uh, grounded type characters. So I don't know. We might lose this character. I'm not really sure. The biggest character I really seriously would wish would just disappear. Carter. Oh, good God. I I seriously want to just say shut up and cut out her audio and then let's just put back in the uh, subtitles back in right for her audio only everybody else is fine so far but that character I just seriously wanted to just say shut the fuck up I really hear her voice I hate her stupid monologues of earth more power of crap you know holy shit other than that this it wasn't too bad of an episode i really liked it but i hate that stupid bitch but guys well if you like these hit those like button hit those subscribe button leave those comments and theories i definitely read them and i'll catch you guys next time